So tell us, Shane, how you doing, buddy? Great. So, Is that a good show here? Yeah, so tell us, tell us, uh, tell us your name and who you're with and what you do. My name is Shane Russell. And I'm a drummer for the Mickey Utley Band. And uh, we just did a show up here in Brownsburg. I had a great, great time at Hatchie Ball Fest. And you, and you, you play what? I play the drums. Uh, I've been with Mickey for about two years now. We did, uh, we did some casino shows and we did uh, Carnival Cruise Ship contracts together. I had a great time. Down in the Caribbean, playing every night. Right. Very fun. So life changing. So how did you come in? How did you get into music? Oh gosh. Well, my dad has always been uh, an electric guitar player for churches. For he did the club scene when he was a teenager. Uh, we, we just music was always around the house. My aunt sang. My mom didn't sing at all, but she loved being around it. So they just introduced me to shows like Hee Haw when I was three or four years old, and I played pots and pans next to the TV. Uh, it just got me, I was always intrigued. I always knew that I had something to do with music. I always wanted to play, so I, I played drums in church for about 15 years, and that really cut my teeth and, you know, play with dynamics, you know, choir styles. Uh, as I was doing that, I was a teenager, of course, I was addicted to rock and roll. I grew up in the 80s, I'm a product of 80s right. metal, rock, right. pop, hair bands, so I was just in love with that. So I uh, got a, a band together in high school, and we did like fairs, proms, garage parties, anything we could do for no money hardly at all. Phone shop equipment, you know the deal. And um, I just grew into playing the keyboards, learning how to do that, and uh, that was where my songwriting came from. Right. So, so, so I played piano in church a good bit and uh, just just started developing type of pop style. I just fell in love with pop, pop rock. So you enjoy what you do now? I love what I do. And, and I've just been in bands ever since. I moved to Nashville in 2012. I've enjoyed with several people there that I just I love it. I love the city. So, what do you think about the band who you're with now? About God, it's great. Mickey's great. He's from out in the country, same as me, with the same age. Uh, family life is the same. Our guys in the band are incredible. Sandy right. Tony, you, everybody works together. No addictions. There's no very little drama. Yeah. If anybody's calling that? It's probably right. me. <laughs> but I've had a great time. I, we we do a casino circuit if we're not doing the cruise ships, and I, I love it. I Anytime I get a chance to play, I meet people. I'm good. Uh, in your name, Tony Rossi from Chicago. And what do you do, Tony? Lead guitar player, rhythm guitar player. So tell us, tell us about yourself. Tell us how you got into music. I got into music because I got an ear hockey for Christmas, and it was broke. It was no good. Right. And I went to take it back, and it wasn't any left. So I go, well, I'll take a guitar. Ain't that pathetic? That's how I started. Because really? hockey was fun. Yeah, that's a true story. Broke, so you got a guitar. Got a guitar instead. So what the new one? 10 years old and I really dug it, played it, got an amp, drove my parents crazy, then I got real serious about 13, started taking lessons, right. started playing in the garage band okay. right away. It's the best thing to do when you start, play it back right away, it develops your timing, right. and makes you really interested right, in right, it. Right, right, right. I started playing bars around 14, okay. mother had to come, and I graduated high school and did it for a living, never looked back. Right. Never. I haven't had a day job since 1991. You enjoy what you do? Love it. Yeah. So what what, what type of venues do you play? The... Right now I'm playing with Mickey Utley Band. I'm playing casinos, clubs, and uh, I've done festivals with Starship. Played a lot of pro bands, Starship, Peter Chris. Uh, I also write music for movies and television, background music. Who, who are your influences? Oh, I like the classics. Jimmy Page. Richie Blackmore, Michael Shanker, Ingrid Malmsteen, yeah. Eric Clapton, anything good. So it's also tasty. Like all kinds of music is also tasty, not stamped out for anybody. So what what do you uh, what do you uh, how do you feel about being with this outfit? This is a great outfit. This is a great outfit. We do any kind of music. Everybody's pro. Everybody's a great player. Miguel is a total great uh, front person singer. It's very hard fun. <laughs> and we get along. We don't argue. Beautiful band, and that's what makes a band. We all share the same vision, I guess. Get it, get it.
Tell us your name and where you're from. Uh, Sammy Flair, man. I'm from Brown, Tennessee. And who are you playing with? Playing with the Nikki. So you're enjoying it? Man, great. Yeah. So I've tell been. us about how you got into music, Sam. Uh, church. Uh, really? Playing at church, man. I was young. Um, you know, you know, playing at church when I was young. You know, just uh, you know, influenced by you know a lot of gospel singers, Lee Williams. I got a chance wow. to play some with him and then play some with Bob Holloway and the Southern Sons. And it just influenced me, man, and I, I started doing that. You know, that's how I started. And what do you play? Bass guitar. And you sing? Yeah, and sing. I've done that at church, man. You sing. <clears throat> I sang at church in a, a lot of quartet groups for about 12 years. And then I started uh, just mentioning I played at church. Who is, who is, who is your influence in sound? Uh, man, I have so many, man. Stevie Wonder, of course, R&B wise. Stevie Wonder, man. I, I love a lot of bass, a lot of bass solo stuff, Raymond Tisdale, uh, Victor Wooten, mm -hmm. but uh, it's in gospel, man, Lee Williams, just some of the, the old grace, man, Tina Turner's my cousin, I mean, just influenced by her, by those early years, man, that I always loved her, her music, and just enjoy it, just enjoy so, it. So tell me, uh, tell me about the Tina Turner thing, I mean, you being kin to Tina Turner, how, I mean, you know, how, how has that influenced with you, with the music? I mean, she has she become an influence as well? Yes, Tina Turner was a big influence, man. Uh, she uh, was uh, out of May Bullock, and she grew up with my sisters, and they all knew each other real close, real close, man. Right. And I just kind of come up following so her. So it's a family. It is. It is. It's a so family. I come up following her, right. and listening to her music. So, so the Mickey band, I mean, when did you get with these guys? Uh, actually, I got with Mickey, man, about five years ago. I was with it five years first. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and, you know, after going through some things in my life, man, I, I kind of was off for, for a while, man. And enjoyed it for five years, man, and went through some things, some sickness, and, and got better. Mm -hmm. Got another opportunity to play with, man. It's been one of the best, best things wow. for At the band, uh, and uh, we just like to say that uh, we are the Mickey at the band, and we play all kinds of music. We play country, we play rock, we play blues, we do whatever it takes uh, to make the crowd happy and make a little money. But anyway, you've met the band. I'll tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Mickey Etley with the Mickey Etley Band. Um, I grew up in uh, Brownsville, Tennessee, uh, and right outside of Memphis, about 70 miles northwest of Memphis. And uh, we uh, we do all kinds of music. Again, we we're influenced between Memphis and Nashville. Nashville being country, Memphis being blues and rock, and uh, we've kind of got the best of both worlds right there. So um, uh, we are ready to play. Uh, again, I got started into music at a very early age, and uh, you know, and grew up from that. Listened to a little blues, a little Elvis, Tina Turner, all kinds of different music, and. Um, Working with Sammy and working with Tony and working with Shane has been a big inspiration for me because they're such really hard to find a really good band that gets along, message, message, me, masses together, or mess, mess, how do you say that? Merges together and, uh, and, and gives a great sound. 
and uh, and so uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for coming out. We appreciate it. Next time you tell me that they're here and you get out of here. That's the real.